this was a school actually inside the fort. So I'm sure there must be a lot of miniature painters who had been living there and making miniatures or the miniature painting would be part of this space. And now after so many centuries, we were again reviving the history uh, and we were just doing this experimentation that how these this environment or this space will bring a change or will affect their current art practices of these young miniature artists. For us, it was very important that we be part of this because ever since the beginning of this museum, we've had a keen interest in contemporary art from Pakistan. And this is where the Maktab project is basically a project in which we bring contemporary artists into the historic environment of the Lahore Fort and allow them over the course of three weeks to explore their ideas, to try to conjure up ideas of the past. Miniature painting was introduced at the Mayo School of Art probably in the early 1900s. We know that in 1945, Haji Sharif was employed to teach at the Mayo School of Art. He belonged to a family of practitioners who have been practicing miniature painting for 200 years. And um, in, he retired in 1965. And he was uh, followed by Sheikh Shujaullah, who also belonged to a family of practitioners. So after Sheikh Shujaullah, Professor Bashir Ahmed started teaching miniature painting and uh, he's the one who taught the big names in Pakistani art today. Uh, for example, Imran Qureshi who's headed this project and who actually initiated the Maktab project. For us, one thing that was important was we needed to have a very good leader and that we had with Imran Qureshi. We approached Imran and Imran instantly saw the merit of this idea. And whereas we originally thought, let's bring together maybe four or five artists, he said, let's create a proper painter's workshop. And so he identified 24 young artists and thus began this wonderful journey in which over the period of three weeks. So I was the curator of this whole project and I was there as an instructor as well. But these artists were all the professional artists. I was not interested into dictating them that what they have to make and what they should not make during this whole project. When you enter there, it looks like that this is their home and they are working there and they are living there and all the time these artists are there. There were a lot of artists, there were historians, there were curators who were visiting this space and were really surprised to see how these artists were working there and getting to know more about their art practices. We brought the life into this Mughal architecture again after so many years and in a very real way it was not like a drama kind of thing. It was more like the very serious kind of dialogue. This project to me was magical and I think that it was something that in terms of conception straight through to delivery uh, proved the merits of being able to blend contemporary art with history. And that's something that Aga Khan Museum is very keen to uh, promote.